What? It's my lucky day. Uh, never mind. It's just a new pet. But wait, there's 50% off select green and gold items in the crown shop. Wait a minute, what do you mean by gold? No, it can't be. Anyway, as you probably saw by today's video, we're gonna talk about a few Pirate 101 concepts that I would like in Wizard 101. So the first thing we have here is stitching, and I know what you're gonna be saying. Hunter, don't we already have that in Wizard 101? Yeah, we do. But we don't have this little line of text that says stitched with. Does this look like a banner to you? Well, if it does, I might have to knock some sense into you. Now, for the reason why I think this concept or this idea is so greatly utilized is because most people can just search it up on the Wizard 101 or Pirate 101 Central Wiki. However, for Wizard 101, you don't necessarily have that option. If you stitch a robe that the other person sees and they want to know what that is, they can't do that unless they see that line of text which says stitched with. So I'm not sure why King Zizel decided not to implement this and decided to go with Pirate 101 on this. But I hope they decide to do it in the future, and I'm pretty sure most of you guys will agree that it's a beneficial thing. Because I've seen on the Wizard 101 Central forums so many posts about this certain specific gear and how to get it, whether this is stitched or not. Next, what we have here is called the Life Fountain, if you haven't played Part 101. The Life Fountain is basically when a pirate gets defeated, they'll go here automatically, and each separate world or each separate Outpost has one of these. Wizard 101 doesn't have this exact idea. When we get defeated, we go into that certain world or certain place where we need to get the health wisps and mana wisps since we got defeated. So we don't have that automatic option of healing. I mean seriously, why do wizards have to run around trying to get health wisps and compete with one another? When pirates, when they just get defeated, they could just go to the life fountain and heal up. Like, they don't need to do anything. Yeah, I lied. They need to press X. The last idea is better graph fast combat. If you've been living under a rock for these past few years, fast combat enables pirates to, well, basically go fast. Not sonic fast, but fast enough to make the battles go quick. This can be helpful in such situations where you just want to get in and get out. Most importantly, we all want that special item, so why would I want to see animations that I've seen a couple hundred times? Like back when I was a kid, we used to play Pokemon games and those animations, I just shut them off completely. And the text? I wanted to scroll faster. Which I did, I always keep mashing the B and A button in hopes that the text would scroll faster. Which it did. But it didn't mean that the game was much harder. I'm not trying to say that we should get rid of the animations. What I am trying to vouch for is to speed up the animations. There should be an option for fast combat. This shouldn't be like Pokemon where we have different exclusives on different games. Anyway guys, which is your favorite idea or concept? Comment down below or if you have an idea of your own, that would work as well. And if you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe, but I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care and peace out.